Hi there, so in this video I'm going to show you how to connect to MySQL server in Go programming language. So I have opened PHP MyAdmin to show you this MyPHP database here. So it has these two tables out of which I'm just going to connect to this main database. In later tutorials I will show you how to access this table using go programming language so for now our first task will be to connect to this my php database okay for this we need mysql driver for go language okay uh, if you search for go mysql driver then you will find this github page here it shows you how to install this simply open your command prompt then type in go get then github.com and then slash then go then sql dash driver then dash mysql okay if you hit enter then that driver will be installed and you are ready to use that now open text editor or ide and create one sample.go file now here i'm going to start with main package then i'm going to create main function now inside this i'm going to first simply output a line that says go connect to mysql and I'm going to just output my channel name devnami okay now the next thing um, I'm going to create one variable named db and error and then I'm going to connect to SQL dot and then open okay so this IntelliSense will automatically call for database SQL okay now after that I'm going to just save this and it will also import format package because we call that in line and inside open package i'm going to first mention the type of database which is mysql then i'm going to give the permission which is going to be root then demo1234 as the password next thing i'm going to call for at the rate okay then tcp and inside that a bracket okay so that will call for 127.00.1.3306. Okay. And then outside that, we will simply call for slash then my PHP. Okay. And that's the database that I showed you before. Okay. Now, the next thing we have to check for is if error is not equal to nil and if there are any errors then simply use panic okay and it will output our error dot error okay now outside this simply make use of format dot println and here use something like let's say connected message and then use differ then dot db dot close okay this will close the database connection right here so we opened it giving our credentials and we are closing it okay we also need to make use of this address which is going to be github.com then slash and here we can make use of this go sql driver mysql this is one reason i'm going to recommend you to use visual studio code as it will allow you to access such go language libraries right from your source file itself Okay, so 
what we are going to do now is simply open our terminal and hopefully we will be able to execute our code so go to the drive or folder where you have this file then type in go run and then name of your go file then hit enter make sure that you have your permission let's say this root and password properly written otherwise you are likely to have some errors which may take time to solve okay so even i'm not sure about what type of error you will get here but it will be shown with the help of this if condition okay so let's check out if there are any errors or not okay so as you can see it first shows me the message go connect to mysql and then it will check for this condition and if there are errors then it will show error otherwise it will directly move to this line shows you connected and then it will close the database connection so as you can see this was a short video on how to connect to mysql database using go language